I'll never forget starting at uni, walking into like a pool, uh, like a uni party, and seeing a girl with a full hijab just smoking the biggest joint. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. Like that's a that's beautiful. That is that is gonna create like racial harmony. My mum was such a feeder, yeah. right? Like to the point where the school I went to contacted her to say, <laughs> why are you giving him so much food? And then my mum was just, just be a bit careful when you're eating around the school because people might see people you. are judging yeah, you yeah, eating. Yeah. So just then, secret eat yeah, when you're at school yeah, yeah. and then come home and binge yeah. when you're with mom. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone called me toilet fatty because that's where I ate sandwiches. <gasps> and, and then no. Like, <laughs> and oh then my like, god, it's the worst. <laughs> Sorry, that was like visceral. Like I, as another fat kid, like I felt that in the deepest it's part of my horrible. soul. I think the darkest times for me were sometimes when I'd eat like a jar of chutney just on its own. Do you know what I mean? Like with a yeah. spoon. Yeah, but, and the thing is, when you're doing that, you know, there's no, like the ending point is the spoon hitting the glass. Yeah. Like, because when you're in there, it feels like a job you have to finish. Yeah. Like you're not even, you're just like, just get this over with, I God. Know. And then you think, and then you think, <laughs> if I leave this half empty, then people are gonna say, who ate half the chutney? As and I'm gonna to. have to say, I ate it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. And then As opposed I've got to, to finishing it and hiding the recycling. And you get rid of the jar. Nobody yep. knows a chutney ever existed. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah. This yeah. is this is so healing for me right now. You don't understand. So what did you do at the cinema? You know, anything from like, oh, here's popcorn to cleaning out the theaters afterwards. One of the things that annoys me is that the popcorn's so expensive. But it's not just that it's expensive, is that you see them treating it like shit yeah. as you approach. Like oh, yeah. they're, they're throwing it, they're, they're rolling throwing it, they're in it, they're dropping it on the They're dropping it on the floor, they're they reaching. carry big sacks of it <laughs> and spit into a sack and put it in the bin. And and so you see that it's worthless. Yes. It obviously has no value. But, but you've had to pay. But when you get there, <laughs> it's suddenly this precious resource. I just don't understand. They're, it's like they're fucking slamming it in your face. Like, we don't give a shit about this stuff. Yeah. But when you get here, it's going to cost you so much money. So nobody ever did the dick in the bottom of the popcorn. <laughs> well, I don't know that I would have been there for that. Like, how do you walk through with your little flashlights? Like, is there any dick in that popcorn? Okay, I'm just amazed continue. by the logistics of it. I don't, like, because you obviously see it in films and stuff. Yeah, how do you get the popcorn and not fall through the hole in the box? I know. When and you're just like this the... weird... Yeah, and then... <laughs> I would be frightened that the core temperature of the popcorn What's has got to be, be volcanic, right? How are you going to explain in 10 years? Yeah, I got second degree burns yeah. on my dong from yeah. sticking it in a I box. I didn't know it was caramel. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Okay, what other jobs did you have apart from that? I worked as a pro dom for a while. That's a fun. A pro dominatrix for a while. Holy shit. That's what really? you do when you're a girl and you graduate from so, college. Uh, how did you fall into that line of work? You just ask again. Well, <laughs> A friend of a friend did it. I was like, that sounds cool. Right. I showed up, they were like, cool, you're hired, buy yourself some clothes. We all worked in an office building. It was just, it was, it was seriously like furnishings here, photography studio here, yeah. dungeon. And what sort of shit did guys want? What sort of stuff? I mean, did... you know, getting their Don't ass beat. Don't skimp on any detail. <laughs> I mean, well, anything. Just like, you know, spanking. anything from spanking, flogging, things like that, being tied up, lots of clothespins on parts that you don't want clothespins on. Are you on. serious? Oh, yeah, that's the fun one. <laughs> and then what would you do? Hang them up like a shirt? <laughs> I mean... You know, to a certain degree. Did you have to talk to them terribly as well? Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, if you're the one who's the dominant, all you have to do is go, like, shut up and crawl. Right. Okay. You know, and then they're like, huh. <laughs> you know. You can do terrible things when you're young because you're still made of cartilage, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah. you're still bouncy and yeah. you're like, everything's fine. I just compartmentalize and yeah. everything's Nothing great. Nothing has a long-term effect, effect on at me. at all. Great, like, yeah. this is going to be great and, like, it has yeah. nothing to do with my parents. Yeah.